I don't know if this helped. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, very random review here. Just watched The Ninth Gate. It just appeared on Netflix. I'm always interested in late 90s movies that Johnny Depp did because he did a few that were kind of like not great, but they weren't bad either. Like Nick of Time is a one good example I can think of. This movie was also directed by well-known statutory rapist Roman Polanski. At least to say this movie is very French. Very French. This film follows Johnny Depp's character Corso, a Adam Sandler-like hustler of rare and exotic books about Satan, if you will. He's going around trying to authenticate one of three different books, all supposedly co-written by Yo Lucifer Boy himself. What happens is a series of incredibly bizarre, comedic, yet oddly dated sort of events that happen to the characters that he comes across. After being hired out by Richard Nixon to try and authenticate his book about the devil, he goes and meets these two other people who have the other two copies, and they meet incredibly hysteric ends very hysterical. And this whole movie is just hysterical. How the film is shot, the music that accompanies it, and just how the characters interact with the world reminds me of like a 70s episode of something. Oddly enough, the Pink Panther kept on coming to mind. The Pink fucking Panther! There's times where the music made me think that it was literally sneaky music. Just this weird ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 music going on in the background and it just weirded me out the whole time. The music never really matched what was going on or it was over dramatic when the drama was already at a top 10. There are several moments in the film where I am just at the absolute bizarrity of it. The film isn't even put together that well. As I said, it feels like it's from the 70s, but this was made two years prior to the Millennium Bug. There are some terrible, terrible matte painting effects, whether it's the guys in the car, or there's a point where they're in front of this building that's kind of on fire, but it's not. It's just terrible fucking shot. Johnny Depp's acting is laughable in this movie. He's either kind of just dead inside, or he's making horrible, horrible, uh, noises to other people. Everyone else is a deadpan character, especially the woman who keeps accompanying him, this mysterious woman, who, by the way, is Roman Polanski's wife. So that makes the end scene with her and Depp even more weird. The film is so uncertain with what it's actually telling you that it pulls this rug out from under you, and the movie literally just ends. I'm not saying that it actually kind of comes to an end rapidly. It just full on breaks. It hits a cement fucking wall. It stops so fast. Apparently this ending is different from that of the book. It more so kind of incorporates that supernatural side, whereas the book was more of a realist sort of thing. And I don't know, I, I can see either one being a bad ending, because this ending I didn't think was that great. There are some people who really enjoy this movie, there are some who kind of find a fascination with it, and I guess I can kind of understand if you have enough of this, but it's just a bizarre movie, it's very kind of Frenchy kind of film, just bizarre. Not good bizarre, just bizarre. I'll never watch this again. And I don't care how many of y'all are like, oh, you don't understand what's going on. I can understand when it's a bad movie, when there's bad acting and bad cinematography. The camera shakes several times in the movie. It bumps into stuff. There's so many bad shots in this movie. The Ninth Gate gets a two out of seven. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'm going to finish this. That was two hours of a waste of time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.